Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter and I'm starting my spring fling collection and this is DIY number one. You'll need an XOXO sign, some Mod Podge and some paint and some spring napkins and all of those you can find at Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paint and paint just the O's and the XOXO sign. And I chose white paint. You don't have to do white paint. You can choose whatever color paint you like. And I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for becoming a part of my YouTube family. And if you're new to my channel, if you're just stopping in, just tuning in, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And consider becoming a part of my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button and also if you feel in my channel you feeling these DIYs in this video give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell because when you do that you'll be notified of when I upload a new video Okay, now I've painted both of the O's and both of them are completely dry. I think I gave them like two coats, but you'll see I'm going to change the color of those O. But what I'm doing right here, if you look in the upper left hand corner, you can see where I traced out the X on that napkin. And now I have the large X, now I'm tracing out the smaller X. And I'm kind of experimenting. With the deco podge and thing because it's a two ply napkin i'm gonna leave both plies on the napkin i mean you don't have to do this this is just me um experimenting that's all but um i'm gonna take and just trace it out and cut it out with the scissors and put my podge on it you'll see that in a minute and i'm gonna see how it comes out And I'm going to use a little um, piece of sponge. I had a large sponge and I just cut a little piece off. And I got that sponge from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put the Mod Podge on just the letter that I'm going to put the napkin on. And I just started at the top of the X and I'm gonna do small spaces at a time instead of, because the X being so large, I didn't wanna put all the Mod Podge on the complete X. I wanted to do a little bit at a time. And um, I'm just gonna um, get the bubbles and the wrinkles out with the tip of my finger. I wanna see how many um, <clears throat> creases and wrinkles and bubbles I get by using the two ply instead of the one ply. And I know that everybody has their way of applying decoupage with Mod Podge, but if you do this, I mean, just, you know, feel your way. See what feels comfortable for you. See what works for you. You don't have to just do it the way I do it. You can figure out what works for you, and you can do that. Okay, and I did the same thing for the small X, and right here I have a um, emery board, and the reason why... I use the emery board because I usually use like a piece of sandpaper, but that emery board is flexible and it can get 
in between all those, um, you know, crevices that's in that, you know, in the sign. So that's why I use the emery board. But it does the same thing as the sandpaper. DIY number two. I have some more of those spring napkins. <clears throat> Excuse me, one of those wooden hearts. Wooden hearts. Mm. One of those wooden houses from Dollar Tree and one of those um, little um, wooden signs from Dollar Tree also. And my white paint again. I'm going to paint that the whole entire lip sign white. And I'm going to come back with another color. So that's why I painted it white. It's just something that I like to do. And for this project, I will do a single ply this time. You know, like the first time I just was experimenting just to see. And it actually came out. I still had some wrinkles um, and very, very few bubbles, but it came out pretty nice. And I'm going to apply this napkin with the Mod Podge the same way I did in the first project. You guys, if you hear like a heavy breathing or sounds like somebody snoring, it's my dog, my puppy. She's asleep and she's laying right next to me. Um, finally, she's asleep while I'm doing a voice over. Because she's usually up making all kind of noise. I think it came out so beautiful. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you like it as much as I do. DIY number three. Now here I have one of those barns that you can find at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree have those all the time. So you probably can find it, I mean, you know, like any time of the year. And I did the same thing with the napkin that I did with the previous DIYs. I, you know, pulled one of the plies off. It's a two ply, so I'm just using the one ply. And I'm applying some Mod Podge, and that's what I'll be adhering it to. And now I have all three DIYs all done. And I'm showing you here that I went over the O's with the color mineral by way of the chalk paint. And I also did the outsides of the XOXO sign. And 
And I'm showing you here that the family sign, I painted that with the Kelly Green paint from Apple Barrel. And I also put some jute twine around the house. I wrapped it about two or three times and I made a jute twine bow. And I also did the same thing to the barn. And that what I'm showing you right there is one of those stickers. You can find those at Dollar Tree too. And don't forget guys, if you're feeling my channel, you're feeling the DIYs in my video, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of my YouTube family. And hit the notification bell to be reminded when I upload a new video. And thank you, thank you so much again for tuning in to my channel. Thank you subscribers. Thank you for new guys dropping in. Thank you.